Hey there, family. That's a big cloud. Did you ever look up at the sky and wonder what kind of cloud you're looking at? Or where clouds come from? Let's see if we can clear things up. Clouds are formed as part of the water cycle. See the ocean over there? The heat from the sun turns water on the Earth's surface from its liquid form into a gas. This process is called evaporation, and the result is water vapor. All that water vapor cools down in the sky and collects in the form of clouds because the water droplets aren't heavy enough to fall down. Clouds that are way up high can also be formed by ice crystals when the tiny droplets of water cool down and freeze. When water vapor cools down and returns to liquid water droplets or ice crystals, it's called condensation. So what's the deal with all these clouds looking so different? Well, there are many different types of clouds. In fact, all clouds are completely unique, like snowflakes and fingerprints. But most clouds fall under three main categories, low-level clouds, mid-level clouds, and high-level clouds. All right, my ride's here. Let's hop in and take a closer look at some clouds, baby. Okay, family, we're about to take part in some nephology. Nephology is a study of clouds, and the scientists that specialize in clouds are called nephologists. Let's get into it, man. These are the lowest level clouds. The low level clouds include the cumulus, stratus, and stratocumulus clouds. They are big, fluffy, and white. Cumulus clouds can look like balls of cotton, cauliflower, or even mashed potatoes. Man, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get hungry. All right, let's see some more clouds. Onward, baby. These are the mid-level clouds. Here we have alto cumulus clouds, alto stratus, and the one we saw from the beach, the nimbo stratus. These clouds are big, dark, and full of rain. They are so big, they can even block out the sun. That's why it gets so dark when there's a storm. A cloud like that will definitely clear the beach, man. Wow, we're way up here. Last stop, high level clouds. Up here, clouds are mostly made of ice crystals. These clouds start hanging out at around 20,000 feet. That means they go as high and even higher up than Mount Everest. By the way, Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth above sea level at a crazy 29,032 feet. Woo! And these are the clouds you see when looking out an airplane window. Up here, there are cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus clouds. Cirrus clouds look the coolest during the sunset and sunrise because they start to look bright red, orange, and yellow. Cirrocumulus clouds are made up of little white clouds called cloudlets. These cloudlets are made mostly from ice crystals. They look like floating popcorn kernels, so they are sometimes called popcorn clouds. Yummy! Can you supersize that cloud and give me extra butter and hot sauce, please? Clouds are an important part of everything that happens here on Earth. During the day, clouds protect us from the intensity of the sun. And at night, clouds trap heat to keep us from getting too cold. Most importantly, clouds provide us the water we need through the final step in the water cycle, precipitation. Clouds aren't just here on Earth though. Did you know that other planets also have clouds? The planet Venus is covered in clouds made entirely of sulfuric acid. So I have to wear this special suit for protection. Sulfuric acid is a dangerous chemical that can cause severe burns to humans and can even burn through metal. Woo wee, it's getting hot in her. It's time to get back home, baby. Well, family, looks like it's time to get off the beach. I hope you enjoyed learning about clouds as much as I have. See you next time. Hey.